I'm author Jeff Summers, and this is Writing Without Rules, where I'm writing a novel called Rough Beast in real time in order to demonstrate some of the lessons I've learned over the course of my writing career. Right now, I'm about seven chapters into the book, which, for those of you who care about word counts, puts me at about 18,000 words. That's a really good start. Um, I'm, as I've discussed previously, I'm plancing this novel, which means it's time for us to talk a little bit about outhouses. <clears throat> no, damn it, I mean outhouses. In the movie The Hateful Eight, the characters um, head out into the whiteout blizzard that's descended upon them and set up a rope guide to the outhouse um, so they can get to and from the shitter during the storm, which to me is an admirable assertion of priorities. Um, this is sort of like my writing process. Um, for me, the pantsing side of me, which just wants to make stuff up, is like that blizzard. It's all whiteout conditions, it's confusing, it's hard to see, um, but very exciting. Um, the plancing part, where I actually sketch out a skeletal plot outline, is like that rope guide that helps me find my way through the storm. What I'm doing right now is what I like to call episodic writing. Um, I've got my characters engaging in self-contained little adventures, like each chapter is just um, a little adventure that they have that doesn't necessarily contribute to the overall plot, but it's allowing me to explore the universe, the characters, and their relationships to the universe and to each other in a very uh, non-pressure, relaxed kind of way. At the end of every chapter, that little adventure is over with, and I move on to the next thing. Um, when I go back and revise this thing and try and take the plot I've sketched out on a thousand soggy cocktail napkins and turn it into something, I can either delete these episodes, um, I can try and tie them to the plot if it works, or I can move them around the timeline and make them come later or make them come earlier, or I can just put them to the side and use them as backstory that the reader may not ever see, but which I'll know and which will help me writing the book going forward. Or, you know, I'll never get this book off the ground and my life will be revealed as a ginormous waste of time, which, let's face it, is what everyone suspects anyway. But hey, we're only seven chapters in. I might pull this off yet. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, I'm Jeff Summers, and yes, my idea of fancy is indoor plumbing.